All right, guys. Um, I guess what you could say we're going to do today is a double video. I guess you could call it. Um, I'm going to review, oh, uh, open the box on this Ruger Mark III Target 22 long rifle, uh, semi-automatic, and I'm going to do a review and unbox and all that good stuff of this Heritage Firearms 22 long rifle uh, revolver. So. Let's do the revolver first. What you have in the box is a nice little holster. Comes with it from the factory. Uh, it's nothing concealed, but it'd be a good uh, beginner's uh, open carry uh, holster. Um, then you have the firearm here. Um, everything's good on it. Um, very nice little, uh, for such a cheap gun, it's pretty nice. Um, so I'll lay that to the side. Uh, you have an interchangeable 22 Magnum uh, cylinder, which will swap in and out with the one in it when it comes in the box. Uh, you can shoot either 22 long rifle or 22 Magnum out of this pistol. Uh, under the uh, foam is um, that's the sticker tag. Um, you have the envelope from the factory saying. Uh, you know that we shot this and it's got the shell in it and everything's good uh, next we have the heritage holsters uh, you know little catalog doohickey thing I guess you could call it um, paper saying return the firearm to the manufacturer not back to the store you bought it from and here is the manual which is pretty nice it comes with a complete diagram of the pistol everything you need to know pretty nice. So that is the Heritage Revolver. Let me put everything back in here real quick. Um, there's that. And here is the Ruger. Comes in a big hard uh, plastic carrying case. Um, everything comes nice and neat. You know, yeah, It's got a little clip on it here. Pop that off. Um, that is actually stuck to it. The registration is uh, stuck to the little clamp so you don't lose it. Uh, this is a Ruger NRA uh, membership uh, paper. Another um, envelope from the factory with the shell in it saying that everything's good. Here is the um, uh, the um, like the I guess you call it the registration or the warranty papers and stuff on that. And here is the actual manual, which is very similar to any other Ruger manual. Um, you also have it comes with two magazines. And there's one in the gun, and I'll show you that everything's good the chamber is clear. It comes with two magazines which is kind of nice. Um, you have a optional optics rail which can be uh, screwed onto the top of the weapon uh, and you can remove the, um, actually I do not believe you can remove the iron sights on this pistol um, without a gunsmith or whatnot. but there's a little optics rail. I used to have it on there but uh, shoot iron sights now. Um, so there's that. Then you have uh, two keys, which you can use to, um, when you put the gun on safe, you can insert the key in this little hole and lock it on safe so it cannot be switched to fire. And I believe this goes to the uh, lock, which came with it, and I do not have that. I believe it is my room. But, um, that's what's in the box. So stay tuned and we'll have the teardown video. Sorry guys. Um, I know I said I was going to do a teardown, but to be perfectly on honest with you, I do not enjoy taking this gun apart. It is probably one of the most pain in the butt guns I have to disassemble and all that good stuff. You have to have a hammer and knock off the barrel and all that stuff off the frame. And so I'm just not going to do that for you today. So we will take apart the 
heritage here. It's very simple to take apart. All right. First thing you're going to want to do is push in this. There's a little uh, button on the side. It's kind of spring loaded. It's springy. What you're going to do is push that in and pull on the uh, rod right there. You're going to pull it out. There you go. Um, once you get once you get the rod moving, you can go ahead and let go of this, or else you'll you know work yourself to death getting this out. I'll show that to you again. Um, hang on just a second here. Alright, so it's back in there now. Um, you know the cylinder will spin now. Um, go ahead and push that in and pull it out just a hair. Then let off this button and it comes right out. So, there we go. There's that. And then next all you do is pop out the cylinder off to the right side. And that is it. That's teardown, basically. That's about as far as you're going to want to go, unless you're getting into the internals. Um, give it a good cleaning all around in here, around the firing pin. Uh, clean the barrel. Clean the holes in the cylinder. And that is it, pretty much. Give it a good coating of oil on the frame. To keep the rust away. And... That will keep this gun happy. So, we'll put this thing back together for you real quick. All you gotta do is put the cylinder back in there. Make sure the little loading, uh, I don't know what you call it, cover, that, make sure the uh, little loading doohickey there is out of the way. And then simply insert your rod back in. Give that little button a little touch there when you first put it in. It'll uh, make life a lot easier. And then simply line those up. It just takes a second there. There you go. And then it's all good to go. So there's that. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. These are both great shooting little pistols. Uh, this one, uh, never, I don't think it's ever uh, had any issues other than just the just the 22 shells actually being like a squid load or whatever. Uh, no uh, failure to fires or anything like that. The Ruger, uh, a very good weapon also. Only uh, every once in a while you'll have a, um, like a, like a jam or you'll get a, just something will go wrong. Just probably most, 99% of the time it's going to be related to the ammo I'm using. I just get the big box of 550 from Remington and, uh, you know, I'm not doing any target practice or, or uh, target uh, competition shooting with these, so it doesn't really hurt to get the cheaper ammo. ammo. So, probably a majority of the problems I have is ammo related. Uh, other than that, it's a really good pistol, and they're a ball to shoot. So, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.